Well, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how to fix the error called the start menu isn't working. And you may also be getting the error message the start menu is damaged, or the error message may be saying the start menu and Cortana isn't working. So those three error messages are the same error, they're to do with the start menu, and uh, it will need to be repaired. Now, there is a quick way to temporary fix it to get back to the desktop and that is by booting into safe mode and then back to your desktop but you're still going to end up with the same error uh, eventually because the actual start menu is corrupted so what you need to do is re-register the start menu and I'll show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward so first off we're going to come down to where the start button is and this is in Windows 10 by the way so we're going to right click on the start button here and we're going to open up the task manager once the task manager is open we need to go up to where it says file and then run new task. Inside here you need to type in PowerShell and then you want to put the tick in where it says create this task with administrative privileges. Now click OK and this will open up the PowerShell with administrator privileges. If you see on the top left hand corner you should see administrator here. This is important because if you're not running as administrator then it won't work. We now need to paste in our big command as you can see here and what this is going to do is re-register um, the actual menu so you need to push enter here and what that's going to do is re-register that and hopefully that should fix your issue now what you need to do is that close that down close this down and reboot the system so we're just going to quickly reboot so to create a new account what we're going to do it's going to go to start settings then accounts and then you can see the accounts here we can go to um, family and other accounts and uh, if you want to add a family member or you can add other users so we're going to click on this one and uh, what you want to do here is is just come down to where it says I don't have this person's sign-in information And uh, this will allow you to curate uh, an account here, but you want to go here where it says add a user without a Microsoft account. Click on this. And then you can just set up your details if you wanted to for that account. I'm just going to just put this password in. And then you can put a hint in if you wish. And then go next. We'll just put two in there then, just like so. And there you can see the account there. And uh, you can uh, look on this account here. And you can change the type of account that you want to create, either a standard user or administrator. And then click OK and that's pretty much that you've got your account now when you log into that account uh, it will create all the uh, new desktop and new start menu and everything for you and then you can copy all your content across uh, from your old account and then delete the other account if you wish so I've posted up some uh, instructions here if you need to still try to fix it by putting SFC scan now you can see I'm doing this on the screen quickly and uh, once you've run that scan it will take some time let that complete and then you want to follow on with some of the instructions there to do the next uh, scan with uh, DISM and uh, you can see I'm posting up on the screen right now just follow that right away through once you've done that then complete another scan with SFC scan now so if you're still having problems you can use reset your PC uh, go to settings update and security and then once you get there you'll be able to follow through and go recovery and then you'll be able to use reset this PC now bearing in mind that all your data you can keep your data uh, but all the programs will be wiped and this is rather than doing a format completely this puts Windows over the top of Windows basically keeps your data but you then lose all your programs so that's basically how you can fix the start menu isn't working uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. 
Uh, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can also head over to the forums and join up over there. It's free to join. Or if you've got any questions, just like this guy did, then you can post them on the forums. Please don't personal message me on the forums. Just post the question on the forums as it is, and I'll do my best to get those uh, questions answered, or someone else will who's over there. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.